morning Sri Lanka. Today we are celebrating the environment by commemorating World Environment Day. It's the 5th of June and I'm hoping that you're having a wonderful morning so far. And today we are going to talk about how we should protect and preserve our environment for the current generation and for the future. And for that we have wonderful um, guests out here and initially we are going to start off with a very very insightful person. Of course, so when you're talk, talking about uh, opinion formers and opinion leaders in the industry, especially on a day like today, we have an expert in the industry, as Anupama pointed out. And he is none other than Mr. Ravindranath Dabare, who is the chairperson of Center of, for Environment Laws. A warm welcome to you, sir, and a very welcome good morning to, to you. Good morning. Uh, to start off with, you started off as a mechanical engineer, and now you are a renowned um, environmental lawyer. Was the switch worth it? Yes, it's worth uh, to become a man who is living with the nature because I was uh, as a student uh, and as a person who is uh, interested, as a boy who is interested uh, in mathematics, I was compelled to do uh, engineering. Okay. But after passing out, I didn't like it actually. Right. I, I wanted to live with uh, nature okay. uh, and the people and the human beings. I, 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 I want to do away with the machines and uh, yeah. <laughs> forget all so <laughs> mechanical things. Things. So the switch was definitely a worth. Yeah. Uh, talking about the weavers, because th since this is a breakfast show, I think a lot of viewers would uh, like us to ask what environmental laws uh, that our viewers should be aware of when they go out yes. to the public in the mornings every day. Yeah, actually, uh, each and every uh, area or uh, sphere, there should mm -hmm. be a law. Now, uh, simply in our home, there are certain rules and laws, our schools. Okay. Likewise, uh, to protect the nature and protect the environment, there are certain regulations and rules and the laws that uh, uh, already prepared by the parliament or some other uh, regulatory uh, authorities, uh, especially uh, uh, for the viewers uh, who are about to leave for their jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I like to emphasize on the uh, throwing of garbage. Sometimes... Throwing of garbage? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes when we are leaving for our jobs, we collect our garbage into shopping bags. Okay. And <laughs> we throw them uh, <laughs> by the side of the road. Out of the vehicle. Okay. Out, yeah, out, of, the out vehicle, of the vehicle yeah. sometimes. That's become a habit for yeah. a lot of students. Yeah. 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 Actually, uh, we should uh, seriously think of uh, mm. it and we should minimize uh, uh, the, uh, taking garbage from our home. Actually, uh, we, we, if we can uh, uh, use the garbage into worth, uh, w w some worth uh, substance like yeah. uh, com composite and various other things and even the plastics things, uh, we you can, can simply uh, recycle, yeah, them, recycle. Yeah. That is, I think, uh, would be a uh, good idea, uh, good thing to think. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm um, talking about that. Uh, what are the other uh, small changes that we can make in day-to-day -day life? Uh, for our viewers' knowledge, please tell us the small changes that we can make in everyday life in order to protect and preserve the environment. Uh, actually, my according to uh, what I feel, uh, it's very we have it has been very difficult for us to protect the environment because uh, from the childhood we were thought that environment is something beyond us actually mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, we were thought that uh, what if, if anybody asks what is environment it, it uh, we were thought that it, it is uh, something, uh, apart something from around us, us. exactly okay. and not we, involved we us. are excluded <laughs> okay ourselves are excluded exactly exactly that is the problem uh, but we should, uh, from the very beginning, we should start uh, to think that we are also part of the environment mm. okay. and Indeed. environment uh, is uh, the outer world including ourselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is the thinking that we should uh, uh, popularize among our citizens. If we, if you can, because uh, uh, if a person uh, feels that uh, by damaging or by obstructing the environment, he is, he himself feels also uh, affected. Mm -hmm. Then uh, he tries to pre pre preserve the environment. So and does it, it does it frustrate you as a Sri Lankan expert in the field yeah. of this um, that Sri Lankans are not taking it seriously? Yeah, actually, I am frustrated mm -hmm. because it, <laughs> even the schools, yeah. mm -hmm. it is uh, in, uh, environment is thought in a uh, very. Uh, uh, bad way actually that is not the way that uh, a it narrow should be way told. you mean yeah. a small specific way yeah okay 
that's interesting but uh, and uh, uh, one quick question sir uh, do you th are you satisfied with the implementation that sri lanka has made in environmental laws and what more can we add very briefly if you can explain to us the legal perspective yes the legal well. perspective yeah. implementation part of course is very poor because the even the implementation Im uh, implementing authorities are also not uh, some of the implementing authorities are not aware of the regulations and the laws of uh, environmental laws of sri lanka mm -hmm. now so for how instance, could it be improved for, for instance now take police yes now uh, when there is a pro problem even in my for the environmental problems uh, normally the citizens they approach the police mm. but they most of the police uh, officers are unaware of the environmental laws and the regulations existing in sri lanka so they should be acknowledged and yeah. educated about and their powers yeah okay they sometimes they 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 uh, tell uh, the complainants to go to the pradesh sabha yeah. urban council yeah. and to env uh, environmental authority and they yes. somehow they are the but they are the closest uh, authorities uh, who are empowered to uh, the people. Yeah. yeah that's true so there has to be education and awareness yeah. Yeah. is that what you said yeah banu Yes, absolutely. Uh, what, what do you see in the future, as in, in ten years' time? Would you, if you want to see a change that you mentioned, what would you want to see Sri Lanka as when it comes to this? Uh, because uh, we have uh, to uh, try, uh, because our our living pattern should be changed. Changed. Okay. So, if, uh, what we are taking as food should be. Uh, 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 natural actually mm -hmm. the artificial drinks and artificial foods and the uh, 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 genetically modified things okay we should uh, eliminate those things mm -hmm. and we sh because we uh, we are if we can think that we as a part of the nature mm -hmm. we should not uh, consume artificial things mm -hmm. yes and we should not go for artificial things actually most of the diseases and the most of the these uh, 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 diseases such as pressure diabetes and things like that also the are there because we are going against the nature exactly mm -hmm. yeah. yeah if if we uh, work and if we live according to the nature we can be a healthy and the prosperous nation yeah and back you, into the future yes. will be a brighter perspective well thank you so much mr dabri for uh, accompanying us and yes. being on a special day like today so thank you once again and have a great day all right Okay and of course uh, we'll be talking more as well on Puma and on Good Morning Sri Lanka in the future well tomorrow is going to be another special day photography 101 where we are going to feature some of the best in the field of photography and of course the Roland Garros is kicking off in France very very interesting news <laughs> all about that as well uh, it's happening in the week in the finals but stay tuned because after the break we'll be having more interesting segments on Puma and myself are going to be here on Good Morning Sri Lanka don't go anywhere Welcome back after the break. I hope you are having a wonderful morning so far. Today we are commemorating World Environment Day and as I mentioned before in the show we have very special three guests today right beside me right here to talk to you about um how to commemorate World Environment Day very very specially including their own insights about how to generate environmental awareness in Sri Lanka and across the world we have mohammed uzni a regional coordinator for asia commonwealth youth climate change network and we also have joan kutalavala um british council international climate champion in 2010 we also have sikandar sabir the british council global change maker in 2011 and commonwealth youth awardee in 2012 welcome to good morning sri lanka thank you how are you doing We are fully energized. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so all three of you have really, really amazing CVs, and 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 the very uh, the common denominator is the fact that you guys are trying to make awareness among the youth and among the people in Sri Lanka of how um, the changes that we should make um, in day-to-day -day life and and very very sp in very specific areas. Um, so commemorating while we commemorate the World Environment Day, I would like to ask you: How did you get so passionate about Mother Earth? How did you get so passionate about um, rescuing the environment, preserving what we have around us for the future generation? Um, let me start with Joanne. Yeah, well, um, I would say that um, ever since I was a child, I was really into nature and into environment um, activities. But I was more of a see the problem and sort of. It, it acknowledge it as a problem but not mm. really know what to do yeah. 
Um, it was in 2010 when I became a British Council climate champion, yes. international climate champion, that I actually took the initiative to look at some of those problems and solve it. So as a result, I started working on the preservation of urban wetlands. Okay. I lived quite close to one and right. it was it, it, it's a really beautiful area to know that there's something like that so close to the city. Yes. And so I started working on that and from there it's just gone it's right on ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Was me? Yeah, well, uh, it was all started in 2005 uh, when I was selected for SLYP initiative. It, those days it was hosted by Bandana Rakin Center of International Studies. Okay. And then uh, I went back to after that event and then I want to start something and do something for environment. Mm -hmm. And because earlier I didn't know I was really passionate about environment, but I didn't know how to do it. Yeah. And then I took it as an opportunity to start something and then uh, I started the Kokea Sri Lanka, which is a voluntary youth movement to work on environmental issues. So those days I had only three, four volunteers. Okay. And then we we keep on working with different organizations and we had our own initiatives and thanks to British Council. Mm. Uh, those days I have been working with the Zero uh, Carbon City campaign and then apparently in 2010 became an international climate champion and then the journey goes on. So mm. also I would mention uh, thanks to British Council Global Change Makers, uh, which I was selected in 2011. And then only I started to move into the regional and international community on advocacy on environment from mm -hmm. grassroots uh, to uh, advocacy level. Yeah. Right. So can that? Yeah. Uh, my one is, you know, getting to climate change is like, you know, it's some sort of milestone in my life because climate change is a serious issue. Yeah. that young people have to get engaged, have to do something, you know, to combat climate change. As a Husni and Joanne, I also started my, uh, you know, the journey uh, in climate change when I was in school. Mm. Then later on, like them, you know, from Green Army to International Climate Champion to mm. British Council Global Change Makers to, and uh, finally Commonwealth Youth Award, you know, like it's a long journey. So you couldn't expect, you know, that, you know, one day we'll become, uh, you know, youth activists yes. to, you know, lead the next generation of Sri Lanka, yes. young generation, you know, to address these climate change issues. But that, that's, that's wonderful that you have started from um, school level and come so far yeah. and that you are making such a you know, very unique impact and uh, giving a good example to the generation right now. Yeah. So um, I, I, I know for a fact that all three of you have very different and separate specific interests in yeah. this movement. So tell us how that relates, So because today we are commemorating World Environment Day as a whole, as a general. Yeah. Tell us how your specific areas in, um, in of interest yeah. relates in context mm -hmm. to the world world environment day and how does that relate to each other yeah uh, if I start from my side yeah. uh, Main like uh, my uh, initiatives on climate change. I mainly work on climate change, sustainable development, mm -hmm. and youth empowerment. Yes. And my initiatives on climate change are like it's two phased. F first one is like action oriented. Okay. We have to get engaged to the community. We have to get 